Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna if you are new here and this is not going to be your average shopping haul. I actually am trying to pick up habits of minimalism in my personal life but what is my kryptonite? Books. So I bought tons of books, mostly used, some are new from the Myers-Briggs and Enneagram, so I wanted to show you what I bought. And this was actually one of the first books that I ever read on Myers-Briggs or on typology, and I think I picked it up around high school and that's what first got me interested in it. So it is called Do What You Are. From reading this book, I think that I thought that I was an INF J, which if you know me, that's actually very funny because I am an ENFP, but when I first discovered type, I thought I was an INFJ, and a lot of reasons I thought I was an INFJ is just because that's, I was um, developing my introverted feeling function, so if you're big on personality, you'll know what that means, but I was developing my secondary introverted feeling function, and so that's why I thought I was an introvert. I knew that I was intuitive, but that's why I kind of got mistaken with extroverted intuition versus introverted intuition. But anyways, this is a really good foundational book for the Myers-Briggs. The second one is also extremely foundational, and it is Please Understand Me by David Kiersey. And David Kiersey, he's the one who kind of pioneered the four different temperaments of the Myers-Briggs personality system and as an ENFP I fall into that idealist category but I've actually never read this book before but it is very foundational when it comes to Myers-Briggs types. These next three books they're going to be ones that I discovered through social media mostly so this first one is um, it's called Personality Hacker, and that is their business. It's Personality Hacker, and it is by Joel Markwit and Antonia Dodge. They are a couple who I discovered through their Personality Hacker podcast. I was trying to discover some personality-related podcasts. This was the first one that popped up on Spotify when I was looking for it, and it's really good. And so I picked up their book, which is Personality Hacker, Harness the Power of Your Personality Type to Transform Your Work Relationships and Life. And it's actually their podcast that really helps spark an intense drive to pursue personality types, potentially in a business model, because I see kind of how they make it work. So I would definitely recommend their podcast. And after I read this book, I'll let you know if I also recommend this book. The next book I found is actually on the Enneagram, so we're finding on the Enneagram if you're an Enneagram lover. In the system, I am an Enneagram 7. And this book is actually by a brand new author. Her name is Stephanie Baron Hall. She has an Instagram account called Nine Types Co. It is such a well done page. It is so aesthetic. She includes so much information in such a tightly packed template within Instagram. She is very skilled at that. And she released her first book. She is a newly published author and it is called the Enneagram in love. She shows like every single pairing that's possible. So if you flip through, you can see like one with a six, one with a seven, one with an eight. I am an Enneagram seven and my husband is an Enneagram eight. So I'm really excited to see um, what it says about us as a couple. We do have our wings are are each other's types. So I am a seven wing eight and he's an eight wing seven. The next book I got is the last one from social media that I discovered and this one is probably if you have an Instagram account and you're obsessed with the Enneagram like I am, you know this account. And it's Enneagram and Coffee by Sarah Jane Case. And her Instagram account was actually the first personality types Instagram account I think I really discovered and that is what encouraged me to create my own. So I created Personality City and there I cover Myers-Briggs topics and Enneagram topics and the likes. I was just really inspired to create a community where so many different minds can come together and seek to understand each other better. And she wrote a book called The Honest Enneagram. I believe this is her first book. So I wanted something that was just a super, super basic breakdown of each individual type of the wings of the subtypes 
This looks like it's really gonna do that, do the job really well for that, so I am excited to read her book. The next few books I got from book recommendations that I had read online. This one is called Gifts Differing, Understanding Personality Type, and it is by Isabel Briggs Myers. So Isabel Briggs Myers is half of the Myers Briggs mother-daughter duo. It is the daughter in the relationship, but I'm really excited to explore this because it is really foundational. The one that I'm going to tackle shortly after that one is Type Talk by Otto Kroger and Janet M. Thusen. This is one of those books that when you look up a Myers-Briggs reading list on pretty much any blog or website you go to, this one always pops up. So I am, I am excited to see how this one breaks down the Myers-Briggs. The title underneath Type Talk is the 16 personality types that determine how we live, love, and work. Another book that I have on Myers-Briggs is called Love Types by Dr. Alexander Avilia. And because I have an Enneagram in Love book, I wanted a Myers-Briggs matchmaking type book as well. A lot of people, when they get into personality types, they feel like it is to help with dating, with communication, with getting to know a significant other or getting to know a person on a deeper level. Personality types in general can be a little bit dangerous when it comes to those things. So as an ENFP myself, my ideal match is an INTJ and I am married to an ESTP. If you look up the compatibility of an ENFP and an ESTP, they are not the most on paper compatible types. There are a lot of things though that that really go well together with me and my husband. I mean, you would hope so, we're married, but there are so many things that make it work between the two of us that if I strictly looked at matchmaking in the beginning and I ruled him out because on paper we weren't gonna be compatible, then I would have never discovered all of the amazing things we do have in common, all of our Enneagram similarities that help us work towards a common goal. I wouldn't have known those things. The last book that I got on MBTI, What Type Am I? I Discover Who You Really Are by Renee Barrett. I do believe that all of the systems are very closely connected and related. They just talk about different aspects of it and make different categories. I believe that it just adds extra flavor and nuance to all the types when you are in ENFP, Enneagram 7 Wing 8, that is so much more specific of a type and is gonna tell you so much more about me than if I just told you I'm an Enneagram 7 or I am just an ENFP. There are so many different expressions of ENFPs, for example. When you look at their Enneagram, like an Enneagram 7 ENFP is gonna act way different than an Enneagram 4 ENFP or an Enneagram 3 ENFP. I wish I was an Enneagram 3 ENFP because they get so much done. Very jealous, but it's okay. I love being a 7. <laughs> Uh, one of them is The Road Back to You, an Enneagram Journey to Self-Discovery. It is one of those um, really, really good, easy to read books that go deeply into the character of the Enneagram. The last book I got on personality typing covers pretty much everything. It is called Reading People by Anne Bogle. I do really, really personally believe that when you apply the lens of personality typing onto people, it doesn't limit anyone. It truly opens up compassion and understanding. It shows both parties where they need to be meeting in the middle, what compromises they need to be making, what their blind spots are. It is such an empowering tool to use in business, in personal life, in friendships, in personal relationships. Whatever venture, whatever thing you're trying to do in life, whatever thing you have done in life, personality types only enhances your knowledge and your ability to do those things well. But yeah, those are all the books that I have hauled over the last two weeks. It ended up being 11 books that I'm going to go through. Let me know in the comments or just in a DM, whatever you avenue of communication you want to use, if you are interested in a book review or just a recommendation for any of these books that I'm about to read. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and I will catch you on the next one.